there are many more topics that we could have covered in this film, like the claim that this Egyptian relief is depicting a gray alien, which in more high resolution pictures can be seen to be a plant and a vase which is depicted in many other places in Egyptian art. Or this supposed ancient rocket ship sculpture, which according to this Turkish article written in 2003 is a fake, the article quotes the curator of the Turkish Museum saying it's about 25 years old and made of plaster. Ancient Aliens goes on to make many more claims throughout their series, but I believe we have covered the best that they had to offer in this film. I could go on to debunk all the other claims that they make, and to a certain extent I will on the Ancient Aliens debunked website, which I hope to make a hub for this type of information. But the main thing I want to stress is that this is not about ancient aliens getting a few claims wrong here and there, but their main theory still being true. That's not a tenable belief in light of this information. You have seen the unmistakable symptoms of the entire theory being wrong. I would also ask you to take a long, hard look at the authors and speakers and charismatic personalities that led you to believe some of the things that I hope you can now see are wrong. I hope that this film helps you to realize that they are not as smart as they have led us to believe, and to consider what else they may have taught you that isn't true. We shouldn't allow ourselves to be taken in by this kind of thing. We must be people with higher standards when it comes to verifying what is true. Do not become enslaved to an authority figure. They should always be willing to direct you to information so that you can do the work and you can check on them. If they don't, you should be suspicious. Again, this is just something that as a professor, uh, as a scholar, I try to get my students to, to consider and think about. Because let's face it, how many of us are really into this kind of stuff? Uh, ancient languages, how many people do that? You, you get a, somebody who comes along like Zechariah Sitchin and starts spouting things about Sumerian and Akkadian and Hebrew and whatnot. Uh, how many people really have the ability to check up on them? Well, the answer is not many, and it just sounds like a horrible amount of work to gain that knowledge so that you can evaluate what they say, and I understand that, but you should not let that allow you to check your brain in at the door. You should ask that source, that person, hey, where can I look? What can I do? What can I access to try to test what you're saying? Please visit the website ancientaliensdebunk.com to see the different sections of this film or to download it for your own personal use. Feel free to use this film in any way that you see fit, except for charging for it in any way. Thanks for your time.